Okay, let's go. I have waited two years, two months, one week, three days, seven hours, and 23 minutes to make this video. Oh my god, I think they did it. <laughs> I think they did it. Holy shit. Because for some inexplicable reason, it has been that long since No Man's Sky has been playable in VR for me. This is an intense character creator in VR. Oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. And at this point, seven years deep in updates, it is so nice to be able to return to this game. It has been so long since I've started a new file on No Man's Sky. I don't even know what to do at the start. I don't know what I can and can't do. Can I talk to the trash salesman? No Man's Sky in VR, even two years ago, was incredible. The sense of wonder and discovery is multiples larger than in regular mode just because of the scale of it all. No fuel available. Did I seriously just run out of gas in the middle of nowhere? And the flying and the colors and the building, it was just a great game to totally escape into in virtual reality. Look at that sunrise. Man. This has been out of my life for two years. Despicable. But at some point, two years ago, out of absolutely nowhere, the game imploded. There was no update, there was no change to my PC hardware, but every time I would get on the game, it would run slower and slower to the point where I was watching a No Man's Sky PowerPoint on two separate screens that were fixed a centimeter from my eyeballs. And it might shock you to hear this, but that is not a great way to experience this game. There's blue, there's blue grass on this planet. And it's killed me inside that the last No Man's Sky related video on this channel has had this thumbnail. But then again, out of nowhere, PlayStation gets a proper VR setup. And then No Man's Sky gets a dedicated update for PSVR 2. So two years later, I get all excited and dive back in headfirst and I cracked my spine because the game was terrible on PSVR 2. It ran at like 120p, the plants only rendered in like 5 feet in front of you. It was unplayable. It was still unplayable two years later. But then, but then, again again, another, another update came out. And finally, finally, No Man's Sky was back. Yeah, no, this didn't, this didn't look like this before. God, why did this take them six months to fix? The grass would stop rendering like right over there. Like this would be the radius around you. And then all of that would just be completely barren. And then everything off in the distance would be mush, potato mush. And I am positive that at this moment, seven years later, No Man's Sky is peaking. Armored clam? I'm sorry, I don't remember armored clams being a thing in this game. Oh yeah, and you can make a submarine in this game now. I forgot about that. Yeah, everything under the water is also equally as important now, because you can make a submarine and go explore it, and mine it, and do everything you do above water. This game is crazy deep. Pun intended. Because for me, I get to enjoy all of this new content without having it run through Steam and Oculus VR at the same time. I mean, it's a perfect frame rate, right? Yeah, it's perfect. Now that I can run the game on the PS5, it runs infinitely smoother and it also looks infinitely crisper. And speaking of gene editing, yes, the aliens still look exactly the same. What are those? Little butt camels? Hi guys, you mind if I scan you real quick? Gerbilcock? Gerbilcock kush? Pause, please skip this. The time code is right there. After last week's tidal wave of, you have to keep doing this or I will legitimately implode, I feel I have to reiterate that I'm not doing this because anyone wants me to, and I'm not going to stop doing this because anyone wants me to either. I'm doing this because this was a promise I made, and just because the channel is now 10.25 times larger, I don't think that should excuse me from that promise. And I also don't want to live in this reality that we're no longer that small channel. I should have known better, and also, this could all go away at any moment. Although YouTube clearly doesn't want me to go anywhere because of all the videos to shove into the algorithm, they choose my 15 minute Starfield rant to spray all over everyone's faces. It's a Hobbit, Smash Ninja Play on Core, Nate G, Vandal Messi, <laughs> Praise Wazdar, <laughs> More Valuable, More Love, <laughs> VR Central. <laughs> Ramsey Media Group, how can you read this like 50 seconds after?
The heat of the trash fire only strengthens me. Still stuck in Happy's Hurricane streams and Wi-Fi. And last but not least, Colburn, I'm sorry I heard Alex, please forgive me. Can we get an update on this? I really want an update. The fact that nothing has been said is scary. I feel like that means it, it was a bad ending. Stop it. Get some help. Gra, interloper, the Viking... <laughs> it really doesn't come across that well on the video just because the recording FOV is so high for some reason, but it's a really immersive experience. Especially with the HUD turned off, this just looks incredible. It's so crisp, it's so HD, there's so many frames, and it's just, you feel like you're there. Although unfortunately when you turn off the HUD, uh, it makes the scanner useless, it makes the visor useless. I don't know why they made it nuke everything. And the way they accomplish this is absolutely fascinating because the PSVR headset has eye tracking and what they do is they only render in what you're looking at. So that stool is what it would look like all the time. I'm not even kidding. I think it's the smoke that makes it look blurry, but that's what everything used to look like. Yeah, and see now it looks crisp as can be. Everything in your peripheral vision looks like mashed potatoes, but since it's in your peripheral vision, peripheral, but since it's in your peripheral vision, you never see it. And this works ridiculously well. You cannot tell in VR, but now that I'm editing the footage in Premiere, if you look closely, you can see what I'm looking at and what I'm not looking at. Every time I go to get more sodium, I'm left craving a banana. This is truly space age technology being used just so I can fart around on a colorful ball of dirt and ride alien dinosaurs. It's not the fastest means of transportation. I wish this was talked about more because it feels like magic, but it's only being experienced by the four people who actually own a PSVR 2 headset. I've learned the geck word for geck. Let's gecking go. Oh, there's so many geck words here. I'm going to geck all over the place. No Man's Sky was as big as an ocean and as deep as a puddle when it came out in 2016, and I think that it's a testament to the sheer magnitude of this game that it has taken seven years worth of content for the game to feel appropriately deep. That just really put it in perspective for me, because I, I originally wanted to go to this star, but it's blocked by that red one and I'm not going to have a cadmium drive for a while. So then I thought about this star, because I was like, yeah, this has more options to go to, and then I just kept looking up and it kept going and going and going and especially with three-dimensional depth, like, this is crazy. This is really crazy. Who's laughing now, Starfield? And now that I haven't played No Man's Sky in two years, coming back to it and not even being close to the newest update content is a crazy feeling. Recruit life form to squadron? Since when is that a thing? I, what is this, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood? And then I go to buy their starship? And it has light sails. It has these holographic thingies. Like, are you kidding me? I now have a basically infinite universe in front of me with an almost infinite amount of content in it. How much does this cost? How much does this ship cost if I wanted to buy this? Uh, to exchange 2.5 million units to buy. Okay, and I have 17,000 out of 2.5 million. All right, we'll come back to this. So unfortunately, this might take over my streaming schedule for the 0.3% of you that care. I'll try to keep it interesting by doing the one sub equals one barrel roll thing, but I did 350 barrel rolls the last time we did one of those streams, and only then did I get slightly nauseous. If someone sees this as they join and they choose to stay, then they know what they've gotten themselves into. 157, 158, I'm blacking out. And when I'm live and there's no editing, Nausea is probably the only entertaining thing I can offer you. Uh, oh, I see. I just fully dox my location to everyone who watches this video. I'm not sure if this is crossplay or not, but I will be live at two o'clock. So to the smooth brains who watch these videos the second I post them on Saturday, you have two hours to find me. But be nice. Don't make me regret this, please. 33, I'm not gonna puke. 34, I'm not gonna puke. And now, at the risk of snapping your neck from whiplash, may I present to you Like this video if you want to, but love yourself no matter how long it took you to make your game playable. And as far as I'm concerned, if you give me the privilege of your time again, then I will see you on Cheesecake, the most hellish planet in that system. And hopefully I'm not puking. All right, goodbye. It's gonna take me a full minute to get there. 
see, that's the thing. Does this count as a loading screen? You know, if we're going to complain about Starfield's loading screens? I'm just saying. I'm not trying to start anything. I love both games. I love both games so much. I do. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just asking the questions that should be asked.